Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the organizing committee uh, for a nice conference. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some prunus species today, and especially for prunus spinosa subspecies Dazifila. Its antioxidant, antimicrobial uh, activities, and total phenolic content, and also its secondary metabolites. These species are belongs to Rosaceae, so I like to say something about botanical descriptions of uh, this uh, family. These are usually woody plants and leaves alternate, and usually they have stipulate and uh, flowers, uh, hermaphrodite. <coughs> sepals, the numbers of the sepals and petals and four to five, it's free. And this family uh, contain 100 genus and more than 2,000 species. And you see also Rosace family and special uh, properties of this family, fruits uh, with a hepantum and droop. Uh, an identification key for the genus to reach prunus species. Leaves are simple. Usually these plants are trees and uh, flowers also solitary and uh, uh, sepals and petals usually five. Uh, droops are globulous and uh, leaves are convoluted in bud. And in the world, this is more than 400 species uh, they have. This is Prunus spinosa. It's a nice picture of this plant. This genus, the genus Prunus, is represented by five species in Anatolia. And we uh, mostly focused on Prunus spinosa. And you can uh, separate it, this species uh, with the fruits and leaves. Fruits are erect and up to 15 millimeters di millimeter diameters. Leaves are mainly obovat. And uh, it's basic uh, uh, descriptions of other uh, five species to uh, separate from each other. Prunus spinosa is only one subspecies, which is known as Prunus spinosa subspecies dazifila in the flora of Turkey. And we collected these plants from Tekirda, which is north of uh, Turkey, but they uh, usually growing northwest and south of the Anatolia, but mostly in the north of Anatolia. Prunus spinosa, as you see in the photos, usually obovat leaves, and this is fruit time. But flowers are usually white, I will show you later. And uh, the number of the sepal and petals are uh, five. And inflorescence time of this plant is usually March to April, but we collected flowers around June to July and fruits on August. This is the plant which we photographed, uh, white flowers and the fruits of the plants uh, of Prunus spinosa subspecies dazifila. You can see habitat of uh, to, uh, the plants in Turkey map. So as you see here, north of the Anatolia, there is a lots of uh, species are growing. I like to say about something uh, important species from Rosacea, why we uh, concentrate on the species. Uh, then why, uh, I will explain why we concentrate on the species. For example, Rosa damestana because of the oil of uh, Oleum rose. Uh, or uh, Rosa canina, the dog rose. Uh, this is vitamin C resource, and also Prunus amygdalus, almond vitamin E uh, uh, resource, and also Crateogus monogyna, one of the um, one of the important plants uh, belongs to Rosaceae, uh, used to treat uh, heart ailments uh, and used as cardiotonic, uh, uh, cardiac tonic. Of course, in the world, there is some uses of, uh, usage of these plants in folk medicine. Uh, in Serbia, Prunus spinosa used for cold and cough. In Italy, uh, anti used as antipretic, astringent, and hepatoprotective. In Bulgaria, as diuretic. In Poland, regulation of digestion. In England, used as astringent and diuretic, and so on. What about in Anatolia in traditional medicine? These species have been known as çakal eriği, güvem, güvem eriği, yabani erik, and güvem dikeni in Anatolia. And the another two, uh, species are also used for uh, several and different um, 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 ailments. For the leaves of Prunus spinosa subspecies dazifila used as constipation, the flowers used for diuretic and used as diuretic and antihistamines, the fruits used as laxatives. 
but um, the fruit decoctions are used for toothache and furthermore the fruits were used for eczema and especially in Tekirdağ <laughs> region they are using these um, fruits for diabetes. In the previous studies uh, there are some biological activities uh, on prunus species um, shown as anti-androgenic uh, uh, anti activity, antimicrobial activity, cytotoxic activity, antioxidant activity, and neuropharmacologic, they have neuropharmacologic <laughs> effect, and there is no report about anti-diabetic activity. When we look at the phytochemical studies on prunus species, uh, they contain mostly cyanogenic uh, glycosides, phenolic compounds, cumarins, and some of terpenoids fatty acids and polysaccharides. In previous studies, again, uh, mostly phenolic compounds and terponates were isolated from these compounds. We also isolate four uh, phenolics uh, from this. It was camphorol and uh, quercetin. They, they were camphorol and quercetin derivatives. Prunacin is the major compounds of this plant as the cyanogenic, uh, cyanogenic glu glucosides and uh, used as expectorant and antitussive and antispasmotic. What we do uh, in this study, <clears throat> we made an extraction of the fruits uh, with methanol uh, to yield methanol extracts, then liquid liquid partition uh, on applied on these extracts using with chloroform, ethyl acetate and embutanol. And totally five extracts we used were tested for their biological activities, uh, including remaining water phase. So uh, it's well known that phenolic compounds can prevent harmful effects of oxygen radicals. And so um, we uh, all these informations turn us to focus on the research of antioxidant activity of the title plant. So the basic method is uh, we tested radical scavenging activity against DPPH and we measured the uh, absorbance of the reductions at 517 nanometers and we saw uh, the uh, phenolic compounds as purple on the uh, as yellow on the purple background on TLC. This is the small introduction of uh, the method, uh, as you know. And you see in the graphic um, there is five um, extracts. Uh, used in different concentrations. Uh, mostly methanol and butanol extracts showed, uh, showed uh, more higher activity than the others, but all of them uh, has activity as, uh, in those dependent manner. Estimation of total phenolic cons content. The amount of the total phenolic compounds was determined using Follin-Schicalt reagent and determined is gallic acid equivalence of the extracts. This is also uh, uh, the introduction of the method. We use sample and gallic acids, adding falling shikalto and sodium carbonate. And after two hours incubation, we measure the absorbance at 725 nanometers. Again, as you see in the table, uh, the methanol and uh, um, N-butanol concentration, uh, N -but uh, the phenolic concentration in methanol and N-butanol extracts is uh, higher th uh, than the another ones. Uh, it was found uh, the higher total phenolic content. If you see, uh, if you see the antioxidant activity, also the results is parallel with the antioxidant activity. The antimicrobial assays was performed by broad microdeletion method in 96 well microplates in order to establish the minimal inhibitory concentrations. And uh, it was tested against some gram-positive, gram-negative uh, strains and some fungal cit uh, strains. In previous studies, although in previous studies, Prunus spinosa and Prunus uh, species showed an antimicrobial activity, we couldn't have found any activity in this table uh, as concerning this, these strains. And uh, we do isolation, we did uh, isolation from methanol extracts because shown much better activity than others. Uh, 10 gram of the methanol extracts um, applied on reverse phase vacuum liquid chromatography and to yield main four uh, fractions. We use fraction B uh, and we 
when we use the silica gel chromato column chromatography, we uh, isolate two different compounds together with four known uh, phenolic compounds, which is camferol and quercetin derivatives, but they are known, and I'm not talking about these four compounds. These two is uh, different in uh, prunus species. On TLC results, in met uh, as you see, PS methanol, see uh, the compounds is um, uh, separated um, very well than others in different solvent system and different ratio. And especially in this, uh, on the left side, uh, TLC results, see ethyl acetate, chloroform, methanol, and water system is uh, the best for uh, this TLC plate and for this extract. This is why we use this uh, solvent system on chromatography. And finally, uh, we got these two compounds, uh, which is described as benzyl alcohol derivatives, glycosylated benzyl alcohol derivatives. These are the first report from Prunus species. I like to show a spectrum of these two, uh, these two uh, compounds, uh, which are almost same uh, with each other. So as you see in the proton spectra, uh, around seven to eight, uh, you can see phenolic protons, and around four, you can see anomeric protons, and less than this, uh, I mean, uh, between three to four p.m., you can see uh, sugar units proton. It's a wide spectrum of it, of the sugars units, and for phenolic uh, protons. Uh, this is a depth uh, spectra. Uh, the, they, they are uh, 18, uh, they have 18 carbons, and uh, three of them is CH2. And also there is a carbon spectra of this compound. This is cause spectrum, especially uh, showing here um, sh uh, uh, the relation and interaction with the sugar units. And HMBC spectrum uh, around the phenolic compounds um, relation with uh, each other, and also anomeric carbons of uh, the f um, the um, uh, interaction with the uh, the each other. For the another compounds, there is no more differences. Uh, I uh, like to show you the spectrum, but in the table you can see the values of, uh, yes, uh, the first one uh, is C1 and another one is C2. Only differences is uh, in the sugars, which is connected to glucose casilose, the another one is arabinose. And I can uh, say that here, we couldn't have done our uh, screening. This is a pre preliminary screening of uh, this uh, study. And we will do anti-diabetic activities. Actually, we are doing now as in vivo test. We are focused on in vivo test now. But there is no results reach uh, to us. So it's possible to generate many structural no novel and known bioactive plant metabol secondary metabolites isolated from the uh, higher plants. For pr prunus species and for rosacea, actually, this is important thing is before uh, their relationships and status can be more firmly established, it is really needed to do uh, biosystematic, phytochemical, and pharmacological studies in Anatolia. These are the references. And I'd like to thank to uh, my uh, MSc students, uh, Serap Arabacı Anul. Actually, this is her study, and she couldn't be able to come here. And I'm here to present inst instead of her. And thank you for your kind attention.